You know, we're fortunate here in Midland to have 27 candidates who have stepped up in the hopes to serve you this election year. Five for mayor and five for deputy mayor and a total of 17 candidates for wards one, two, and three. And that makes us very proud. Now, given this unprecedented response of 27 candidates applying for but nine council positions, nine demanding jobs, one in three, we felt we needed to provide the voters of Midland with new and different forums to get richer information about the candidates and their views on the challenges and the opportunities that lie ahead. On our website, midlandcommunity.ca, we have posted the candidates' responses to four key questions. You'll likely hear from them, and they might address that this evening. And we hope you'll take time to read these thoughtful comments that were provided by the candidates. Midland matters, you matter, community engagement matters, and your vote matters. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gordon McKay, and I've had the privilege of being your mayor for four years. With vision and with the hard work of council, over these last four years, we put in some very impressive foundational pieces. We kept our tax rate at 1.2% for four years in a row. We have built the Economic Development Corporation of North Simcoe, a platform on which we are going to find those jobs. We've also acquired Midland Bay Landing, the first step in moving our whole waterfront to the future place that all the residents of Midland will actually involve themselves in and enjoy. But the thing I think most I like about what has happened over these last four years is we have built engagement. We've got people participating in our committees, our DC Department Development Charge Committee, our Midland Bay Landing Committee, and it's that engagement and what you're doing here tonight that's going to move Midland forward. Hello, my name is Mike Ross, and I'm running for a uh, Deputy Mayor in the Great County of Midland. Having represented the people of Midland as your Ward 2 Councilor for the last four years, I have proven that I'm an independent thinker, not afraid of making the difficult decisions. As many of you are aware, I was the only council member to vote against the Uniman land purchase. As I always thought that this project was a great opportunity for Midland, however, I believed that land development should be left to the private sector. With that said, now that the decision to purchase the land has been made by the majority of council, I will do everything in my power to make this a successful project. This proves that I don't live in the past. I don't hold a grudge. I'm a team player. I will work hard for the people of Midland. Mike Ross is the right choice at the right time. On October 27th, please vote Mike Ross for Deputy Mayor. I believe the time to secure Midland's future is now. I have been an active in town organizations like the BIA, the Downtown Master Plan, Midland's Blue Edge, now Midland Bay Landing, but I feel like I want to do more. It's a goal to apply my sound business knowledge and creativity to ensure fair taxes and good investments. I would like to encourage economic growth and work on the shift to place-based economies based on the understanding that you, the unique mix of assets and aspirations Midland has, like lifestyle, sense of community, high quality of life, affordable housing, and more. I want to leverage the ideas, partners, and alliances we already have at hand to promote Midland and include the new Economic Development Corporation of North Simcoe. Uh, we also need to protect existing uh, health care services and um, that are essential to our viability of a healthy and safe town. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased to be here tonight. I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you a little bit more about myself. First, however, I'd like to apologize to the people who were there at the first meet and greet at the Midland Cultural Center. I thought it went fairly well, however, my handler had a different opinion. Apparently, there was a whole list of things I did wrong. So I shaved carefully this morning, I've had my hair cut, I'm wearing a jacket and a tie. I even have a signed brochure available now. I promise not to rest my chin on my hands too much and to look straight out into the audience. And smile. I'm telling you this to let you know that I'm a little person willing to learn from my mistakes, adapt, and move on. Everyone likes a puzzle. Don't we have a big one with lots of pieces. Some of the big pieces are already in place. 
to act like a team and work together to fit the pieces together. There's a whole slate of good candidates here for you to choose from, and I encourage you to listen carefully to what they say. Uh, so again, hello, my name is Jonathan May. I'm a Midland resident, born and raised. Uh, and so the main reason why I wanted to run is to improve the quality of life and the sustainability of the community. And so simple policies like smart growth, downtown revitalization, urban intensification would really benefit job creation. And uh, we really have to build on the assets that we have in the community. And that's not only small, but the large businesses, as well as adopt 21st century jobs, high tech, e-commerce, and uh, we should also focus on green energy and energy efficiency, one way to generate revenue as well as to save money. And we should also offer incentives for residences and businesses that are going to do renovations and retrofits in the community. Uh, I just want to say this has been an absolutely fantastic experience and it's great to see a lot of uh, friendly faces in the crowd. So. pleased to be here. I've been on the council for the last eight years and one of the reasons that I decided to run again this time was because of some really wonderful new people that were putting their name forward. I think that uh, we've done our best on this council to try to leave the town in a better place. There is a lot of uh, things outside of our control that we need to always be mindful of. And I think that you need the kind of people on the council who aren't going to be sentimental about the past and who are really future oriented, who really grasp that the new economy is really about promoting the very local businesses that we already have in town. As what Jonathan Main said and as what Scott Campbell said, it's about smart growth, it's about working with our businesses, it's about continuing the sustainability piece. All of those work together and if we've got the right group of people on council, we will be able to respectfully problem solve creatively and I think move our town to a better place. Four years ago, I ran for council. I ran on the idea of fiscal responsibility. I felt that it was impossible that we were not doing a very good job of controlling our costs, matching our costs to the expected revenue of the town. <laughs> for the last four years, we worked hard to try and make a change in that. We have worked hard to make sure that our cost growth does not exceed that of inflation. And we've, we've done well. We've actually brought it down to some level where it actually makes a little bit of sense. But we're not there yet. So this time I'm running again to try and finish the job. I think it's important that we remember that the way that we handle our finances is interconnected with everything else we do in this time. All we want to achieve can only be achieved if we do so with, with, by maintaining good financial structure. Our fiscal responsibility is our priority and use that to grow our community. Midlander and this town has become a very big part of who I am. I'm one of very few people who can say that they went to elementary school, secondary school, college, all in Midland. And I've also been able to find employment here in Midland as an industrial electrician at TRW. In my nine years at TRW, I've seen starting wages go from $18.50 down to $12 an hour. With factories closing all over town, Midland's industry becoming thin, Midland has slowly lost the luster we once had. Now I keep being asked, what's your platform? Quite simply, my answer is a better Midland for residents. Clean and safe parks in downtown, better transportation around town as well as out of town for employment, but also friendly policies that supports local people to be successful here. We need more festivals and events to boost our economy. We need to spread the support local mentality and utilize the local multiplier effect in order to maximize growth in this area. Lastly, what seems to be the buzzword for this election, economic development. 
it is fair to say that this election is about choice. Choosing to move away from what KPMG called the high tax, low income box the Midland occupies. It's about choosing more competitive, effective services. It's about choosing more to uh, cut the red tape and bureaucracy to stifle Midland's growth. That erodes good paying jobs that takes away our kids' choice to live and work here, and indeed, as a road of hope. With that prosperity comes options and choice, and what comes with that comes hope for a brighter future for all Midland residents. Midland is a vibrant community where our children and grandchildren have a choice to stay and enjoy all the opportunities Midland has to offer. A place we can all again choose to call home. If you share that vision, then on October 27, make it possible by voting for me, Stuart Cummins, the Strapper and Costa Ward 3. Thank you. Uh, we've heard a lot of talking during this election about the Midland Bay Landing Project, uh, downtown revitalization, economic development. Uh, they're all very important issues to both downtown as well as the community at large. Uh, they're going to be faced with a lot of tough decisions. Uh, these are necessary to ensure that our community is competitive, that we create and retain jobs, and that we create a pull that makes people want to come and stay in Midland. Uh, on a personal note, I believe that this poll is best created by focusing on the experience, and I think that uh, that's really kind of where we can uh, focus our energy. Uh, so to make that happen, we're going to need people who can work well together. We need a, a council, we need leadership uh, who can really show people the way. We need people who can lead by example, not just talk. You know, everything is kind of coming together, and if we select the right group of people, we can really put it over the top and make some really phenomenal things happen. So it is up to us to ensure that the forward thinkers who understand technology, who are fiscally responsible, truly passionate, and involved in our community are given a chance to make us proud. The Midland matters, you matter, getting involved matters, and more than ever, your vote matters. Have a great night, thanks so much.